Let's get started. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. I want you to smash that like button. And don't forget to sub. Not bad deadline. <laughs> but that should be done either at the middle or at the end of the video. Oh. Alright. Let's begin. Today we are gonna do yet another quick recap. With rants along the way as usual. I swear these recent chapters are really getting shorter and shorter. In terms of topics covered at least. Looks like the creator is just making things up as he goes. The first panels are just Handeman escaping. And Wonder Woman getting shilled as the greatest hero ever. Even though she's only here for a couple of chapters. And dying shortly after. Everyone already saw it coming. And she's nothing more than a cheap plot device to power down Handeman. So much for being the greatest hero ever. After getting away from the jets. The dumb duo landed in a former serial killer's house out of all people. It's not a regular civilian. Nor a retired hero. Maybe even Bracer perhaps. No. It's just got to be yet another f***ing villain. Because Handeman is really just that good at sniffing them down. I literally made a joke about this in the latest video, among others in the pile. All of them are just as weak and pathetic as Japanese villains. Or maybe they're just as obsessed with taking out other villains like Handerman does all the time. What the f*** is this thing with Handerman and fighting other villains? It's like all he ever does. He gets stomped by heroes, fights villains, and the cycle repeats itself over and over and over again. His threat level is literally in the negatives now. Since he's actively helping heroes to clean up the streets from MHA's never-ending crimes. Oh, great. Nice. Over a hundred different requests filter through this office on any given day. And then here comes Deadline with the f***ing dumbest quotes in the entire manga. He's literally that guy whose entire house got burned. But it's apparently okay because he can finally enjoy the outdoors now. I'm gonna make a prediction in this one. The moment Deadline slips on a banana. And gets hit by a truck. That's still gonna be part of his f***ing plans. What a callous thing to say! I'm gonna conveniently ignore the saving Handeman for a while. Even though these two never even had a meaningful encounter yet. And then the next panels show the jets arriving in Japanese soil. And reporting that they lost Handeman. What's up with these law enforcement and losing Handeman over and over and over again? Every time he does crime he doesn't even try to hide. It's really weird that Grillby, who's not actively participating in their bullshit, gets caught. While these idiots are casually walking off in broad daylight and getting completely ignored. Heroes from around the country are called in for the Sandsman raid, yet the escort is only defended by one person, and the road they're in doesn't even have any traffic. What kind of staged bullshit is this? I think NHA society already felt bad for him, and gave him a truck just to make him look threatening for once. Said truck also disappeared in the next time we see them. I bet it got stolen by real villains along the way. Out of the car, fellas. And what the hell is up with other countries not sending help? Handerman and Deadline are both weakened. So why are they hesitating? Anyone with half a brain can see that sending international help and finishing Handerman right then and there is the most obvious thing to do. But apparently this Egyptian hero is the only one with half a brain. Also nuke work analyzing technology, but without tracking. Well that's convenient. And then there's this final shot with the nuclear trio. This looks suspiciously similar to the wing where and Company moving out. And then all three not accomplishing anything. All in all. Always remember that Handerman fell for a f***ing prank call. Heroes can literally tell him to go to a spot. And he'll f***ing go there like the massive f***ing dumbass that he is. All you has-beens trying to make a comeback. I'm fault, sorry. Don't be mad at him. Okay, we'll need a transport. Let's go. You're taking the bait? You brought us a pretty big catch, huh? Well, looks like we got ourselves a double baby! I want you to-
to smash that like button. <coughs> and don't forget to sub. And that's how you do it, Deadline. If only your cannon self learns just as fast as you do here. He's so embarrassing.